Hello students, welcome in a Sahaj Shikshan YouTube channel. Today I am going to take one exercise. Standard 5th, subject is the environmental studies part 1 in that chapter number 13, methods of preserving food. So, today we are going to take exercise of this chapter. So, let's start. Question 1st is, what's the solution? In that question A, the papers have become soft and moist. Then what will we do or what is the solution? The answer is, papers which have been soft and moist should be kept in sun for drying purpose. Okay, this is a one of the preserving method. Drying, me drying method means removal of water content from the matter or food. Papers when kept in sun for drying for a few days will become more crisp again. Okay, so this is a solution. Then question B, fruits like a mangoes, amlas, guavas and vegetables like peas, onions, tomatoes, fenugreek are needed all year around. They are available in a plenty only in a certain regions. Then what is the solution? So here is the answer. In order to use all year around, different methods of food preservations are used in order to preserve fruits and vegetables. So first one is mangoes. Mangoes can be preserved by making their swash preparation. Peas can be peeled from pots and preserved by keeping them in a refrigerator for a long time. Onions can be dried or fried, can kept for a longer time of time, period of time. Tomatoes can be preserved by making tomato puree, swash or sauce. So, this is a solution. Then, question number 2. Use your brain power. In that, semolina means shevaya do not get spoiled for a very long time, but kheer made from them spoils easily. Why is this so? So, here I give an answer. The answer is semolina means sala shevaya manta are made by drying them in the sun. Since they are dried in the sun, the water contained in them is completely lost. So, hence they can be stored for a longer time because the water contained in gets lost. On the other hand, the kheer is made up by using milk and milk products. Okay, so milk product is easily uh, spoiled quickly. So, using milk and milk Products. It is a highly perishable product, hence kheer gets spoiled quickly. Then question number 3. Find and correct the wrong statement. In that question A, when something is boiled, the microorganisms in it are destroyed. So, this statement is a correct statement. Second, question B. Our food does not get spoiled when microorganisms begin to grow in it. Then answer is, this is an incorrect statement. And the correct statement is, our food gets spoiled when microorganisms begin to grow in it. Then in that question C, foodstuffs dried in a summer cannot be used for the rest of the year. Okay. The, this statement is an incorrect statement. The correct statement is foodstuffs dried in summer can be used for the rest of the year. So, drying in a summer or drying in a sun, this is a one preserving method. Question number D. Foodstuffs get warmed when put in a fridge. So, answer. This statement is an incorrect statement. And the correct statement is foodstuffs get cool temperature when put in a fridge. Then next question is a fourth question. Answer the following questions. In that question A, what are the different methods of preserving food? So the answer is student, placing in a cold storage means in a fridge. Then next one is a boiling. Third one is a drying, drying in summer or in sun. And last one is a cooling and placing the foodstuffs in airtight cans. 
are the different methods of the preserving of food so these pores are the different methods of preserving the food question b why do we avoid eating food that has get spoiled so the answer is student we should avoid eating spoiled food because it can be cause stomach ache diarrhea vomiting due to the food poisoning okay so by eating spoiled food we suffer from stomach ache diarrhea vomiting so to avoid this we have to avoiding to eating food which has been spoiled question c why do we make jams from fruits so the answer is fruits cannot stay fresh for longer period of time okay in order to preserve them various food preservative like sugar vinegars are added to it by preserving the fruits by adding sugar we can get jam even after the season of fruits is over hence we make jam from these fruits so this is a one kind of a preserving method to make jams from fruits so it can be available after the season of fruits question d what are preservatives so the answer is certain substances that are added to the food stuffs to preserve them for a longer time are called as a preservatives question e find out the names of the different spices also find out which part of their plants they are so the answer is cinnamon cardamom bell leaves cloves etc are different spices cinnamon is a part of a stem of a plant and cardamom is a fruit of a plant and clove is a flower bud of a tree so this is a part and cinnamon cardamom and bell leaves cloves are the name of different spices so here is the answer of this question if you like this video please press the like button comment to video and subscribe this sahas shikshan channel thank you